This is Mikey with another After Effects quick tip. I'm gonna show you how to create right on text with any font. Now, when most people are doing this, they use the paintbrush and they just go in and paint over the lines and then use that as a track mat. The problem I find with that is when you get to places like right here, then it's not going to paint it perfectly. So the way I like to do it is using shape layers and paths. So what I have here is a shape path that is writing on. And let me show you how to create that. So I'm gonna use my pen tool, make sure that nothing is selected in your composition. Use your pen tool, and then let's zoom in nice and close. And I'm going to start down about right here in the middle of the A, and then come up right towards the middle, then back down. I'm gonna come over here, and then across to create that line. Now everything's kind of hard to see, so on the first one we're going to have to come into the contents, down to the shape, and let's just remove that fill. And then we have to go into the stroke and make it wider. After this point we can come in and start to line things up so that they're perfect. So let's grab the path, click on the path, and then we can move the path where we want. Now we're gonna to have to go in and make this stroke thicker. So let's come in, make it thick to the point where it just touches the edge. You can see that green just barely went over the white. And it's not quite thick enough on this side, so a little bit thicker. What we don't want we don't want it going too far over the edge and eating into the cross beam. I'm just adjusting this cross beam. Then on the top here, right there where that corner of that stroke is, make sure it's just over the white. That's pretty good. Now let's go to our second shape. So make sure your shape layer is highlighted. Grab the pen tool again, and draw a straight line down. And it's already going to use the same stroke thickness in, that you had from before. Let's go into that shape layer, into the path, and move it just so it barely, you see right here this white line? I don't want to go over it that far, I just want to barely go over the edge just like that. Now to make things easier, I'm gonna take this path, and I'm just gonna duplicate it, hit Command D, creates path two, and then I click on the path right there, and then if I hit Command T, it can bring up this transform tool and I can be able to rotate it, scale it to the size I want, Command D, Command D again, and just cover up those. Now what I'm going to do is add a trim pass to this. So, but since the A was in shape one, the E was in shape, shape two, I need to move these. So shape one is on top and shape two is on bottom. Now select contents, go to add, trim paths. And what trim paths does is it just writes it on, just like this but it's doing everything at the same time and I don't want that. But down here it says trim multiple shapes and it says simultaneously, I wanna change that to individually. And then what it does, is it writes it on, just perfect. Now let's go ahead and keyframe the end position. And then let's turn this into alpha mat. And if it's going too fast, just go back to that shape layer Move the keyframes further apart. And what you have here is a perfect way to do right on. And it's a lot better of an effect than if you use the paintbrush. You can see right here, I don't have any of that bleeding into the crossbar of the A. So that's the way I like to turn any font into a font that writes on uh, to use in your motion projects. So enjoy that.